In this recording, we'll go through how to go through a facility layout problem. This is covering problems number one and two in your book. And in this problem, they are um, considering changing out the dry goods department and the health and beauty department. So in your spreadsheet here, you've got the layout of the current departments where you see uh, A, which is the dry goods department, is in the top left corner, and health and beauty, which is department F, is in the bottom right-hand corner. And we've also got the proposed layout, which is problem number two, uh, and you see that they have switched it out in problem number two, and the health and beauty department is now in the top left corner and the dry goods department is in the bottom right corner. So what we want to do is compute the load distance score for both of these layouts to see which one of them is the most efficient layout. Okay, so we've got up here the trips between the departments. So basically what this is telling you is how many trips are made between each department on a daily basis. So what we need to decide is the load distance score is one way for us to decide on the efficiency of the layout between one department or another. And we calculate that by deciding on the ratio of the number of trips between departments and the distance that you take between those departments. So the way we're going to simulate this calculation is by taking uh, the distance or the number of steps between each uh, department and we're just going to count those as we've got the departments laid out. Now the way that you would do this in in reality is you would measure the distance between a department. So let's say you were in Walmart, uh, you would actually take a tape measure and measure the distance between say the dry goods department and the pharmacy. Uh, but in our simulated environment here, we're going to just count the number of blocks between. So, for example, we've got uh, Department A to Department B, and de between Department A and Department A, of course, is zero steps. But between Department A and Department B, it's 15 steps. So A to B is 15, the number of, excuse me, the number of trips made is 15 and the distance between A and B we're just going to count A to B is one step so if I start here and I go to here that's one block over so I'm just going to put one here and A to C is two blocks over so if I go here one block two blocks so that would be a distance of two and I'm just going to keep on going in that same uh, pattern on down. So A to D is one block. And A to E is two blocks. And you'll notice that no matter which way you go, it's going to come out to be the same. So if I go this way, one, two. Or if I go this way, one, two. Either way, it's going to be the same. Okay, A to F is 3, B to C is 1, B to D is 2, B to E is 1, B to F is 2, oh wait a minute, I got off on one here, B to D is 2, B to E is 1, 
b to f is 2, c to d is 3, c to e is 2, c to f is 1, d to e is 1, d to f is 2, e to f is 1. Once you get all of those in there, the next step is to compute the load distance ratio. So we're going to do an equals here, multiply our number of trips times the distance between the departments, and that's going to give you an LD score, and we want to then copy that down to all of our other cells, so we're going to get back on this cell get our fill handle down here in the corner and pull down. Okay, it's important that you get all of the formulas in the cells here because I will be grading you on that. Sum up your total using your auto sum here. And that is your total load distance score. This is the number that's going to be important down here at the bottom. Okay, and now we're ready to look at our proposed layout to see if our load distance score is any better. So we're going to count the same thing here except with our proposed layout. So A to B is starting with our A here, one, two, two blocks over. A to C is one block. A to D is two blocks. A, A to E is now one block. A to F is three blocks still. B to C is one block. B to D is two blocks. B to E is one block. B to F is one block, C to D is three blocks, oops, three, C to E is two blocks, C to F is two blocks, D to E is one block, D to F is one block. E to F is two blocks. We're going to calculate our total again the same way. Equals our 15 trips times our load, our distance. Gives us our load distance score. We're going to get on our fill handle again and drag down. And calculate our sum. And as we can see here, our proposed layout was slightly better than our current layout. Now, what I want you to do for extra credit is come up with an ideal layout. So what you want to do in order to create your ideal layout, and I'm going to give you five points extra credit here. So I'm going to put my five points up here. What you want to look at when you're designing a facility layout is the ones, the departments that are giving you the no, most number of trips. And those are the ones that you want to focus your attention on. So when they proposed a new layout, they should have placed the departments closest together that had the highest number of trips. So when you're coming up with your proposed layout, you want to put these departments that are, have these high numbers closest together. And then see if you can get your load distance score down even lower. Okay, so that's what you're doing for problems one and two, five and six, and 
and there's one other one, problem 10, okay?